tell us you've heard Pokemon to Astro's Playroom. As you can hear, there is a terrifying roar coming from down below. Now that we've cleared out all of the main areas and gotten all the collectibles, that cube down below has been growling for some reason. We're gonna go find out what's up with all that. Right over here, it's gotten everyone's attention. Oh my. Uh, hello? What is this thing? It's a question mark mystery. We're heading into the void. Whoa! We're going all the way back to 1994. 1994 throwback. Whoa. Okay, there's an original PlayStation and a TV and a demo disc. Oh, it's Ken's. Who's Ken? I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll press the button and start the console up. Demo one. Oh, this is crazy. Going up the memory cards. What is up with this? Whoa, hey, watch it. <laughs> Get out of here. And then I got these two, send them flying. This is intense. Oh, let's knock you out. There we go. And we gotta keep going up this way. Farther into the dark void. Oh, here's a checkpoint. That's good. Uh, whoa, we got some extra health or something, extra hits. How come? Hello? What is that noise? Whoa, dinosaur, run! What do we do? Huh? Watch out, T Rex tech demo. Whoa! It even has like the little warble effect that the old PS1 games would have, and it's throwing low poly enemies at us. This is so cool! We're even back in the 4x3 resolution. Watch out! Oh my gosh. This is quite the deep cut. Oh man. Come on, can I get you? I'm trying to punch you. That's not working out. He's taking a chomp out of this. Uh oh. Goodbye. <laughs> Whoops. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. Um, here come more robots though. Got it. Am I supposed to be able to hit him? I don't know. Oh, watch out, watch out, those teeth. Extra sharp. I can't seem to do much in terms of that. Oh, there we go. This time I survived it, and now I'm on top of you. Yeah, hit him in the eye. Got it! Oh, that's gotta hurt. This is crazy, watch out! Whoa! More robots. Come on. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. And just throwing out the discs too. Come on, come on. Oh boy, here comes another. Oh, I got chomped. Darn. This is our last little bit of HP. I gotta be really careful. Oh, here comes the big tail swing. Then another bite. Okay. And then another. And then one last one with the sharpened teeth. Don't let it. Send me flying, come on. There we go, there we go. Ready, boom, got you again. There we go. Good job, Astro, we defeated the giant T-Rex. Uh-oh. He's got an upgrade. Whoa! Now we just gotta run. It's the Robo T-Rex. Come on, go, go, go. This is so intense. Whoa. Come on, come on. What do we do now? Hey, hey, what are you looking at? <laughs> Get out of here. It's so crazy. Oh no, here we go, here we go. Bunch of pixelated missiles coming at us. Oh, that's a big chomp coming in. Oh no, oh no, move to the right. Oh. So far, so good. But with all these other bobs coming in, Ooh. Come on, got him. More discs. Whoa, these are the Astrobot discs. That's pretty cool. Come on, come on. There's so much going on here. I don't want to get slapped by the tail. Oh my gosh, wow. This is so many of them. What do we do? Uh, come on. Oh, okay, that's not himself. Oh man, what is that? Whoa, a trophy. Uh, what do I do with this thing? Oh, I just tossed it at you. Trophy unlocked. Oh, do I have to go and hit you? Boom. Oh, I gotta charge it up. 
There we go. Oh, that eye. It's busted. Here comes the other one. Oh, what is that? It's another trophy. It's a platinum. I missed. That's embarrassing. Try that again. Okay, come on. Let's get that platinum tro trophy throw. All right, charge it up. Let's hope that there's an optometrist that specializes in robo dinos, because you need one. Oh, and the tongue? Do I grab this? What's wrong? Astro's got your tongue? Come on, come on. Keep pulling. Oh, ho, ho. that seems like it did pretty good. Do I gotta do that again? How much do I gotta pull it for? Come on, he's steaming out of his ears. There we go. That must not feel good. We knocked him out again. Don't tell me another's gonna pop up. Whoa, the Astro Firework. Cool. Goodbye. Was that it? <laughs> he just goes straight back to playing. And that was it, that was Astro's Playroom. Oh, it's pushing me off. So I guess, yeah, that was the adventure. So cool, what an experience. I had so much fun with this little game. And that was just, you know, the final boss. But I think that there might be a little bit more left to do that we can check out. Of course, we need to find you know, the, the collection room and like sort of explore around with all of that. But I had a ton of fun with this adventure. I'm sort of sad that I couldn't have experienced this right when the PS5 came out. But this was such an awesome celebration of everything PlayStation in the history with this 1994 throwback and this giant dinosaur boss. Really fun idea, for sure. I think it might have been a reference to, I think there was like some kind of dinosaur tech demo for the PlayStation back in 1994, probably for like an E3 or something, some kind of tech reveal. So that's a really cool deep cut throwback in that way. But yeah, very impressed by this. It was a free little game that comes pre-installed with every PS5, so the fact that it was, whoa, hey, watch it. So the fact that it was so well made and was just like such a solid game is super impressive to me. And obviously, like I said before, I wanted to go back and play this game to prepare for the brand new Astrobot game coming out for the PS5 later this year. So if you enjoyed this, definitely stay tuned for that. I can't wait for it. I'm now officially a big fan of Astrobot. And if you thought this was full of PlayStation references, that is supposed to have like over a hundred characters, or I guess like over a hundred costumes that Astro can wear that references certain PlayStation franchises. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's going to be great. I love PlayStation so much. So I would love to hear your thoughts on all this. And if you've been able to play Astrobot's Playroom or Astro's Playroom, get rid of all those guys. Go and boom. Yeah, the new game is really looking like it's going to be like PlayStation's Mario Odyssey, you know, <laughs> or PlayStation's version of Mario Odyssey, which is awesome. We got quite a lot of coins here. I still don't know what we spend the coins on. I didn't see anything to spend them on. So maybe at some point we'll find out here and we can spend a bunch of coins. Well, let's go ahead and knock all this stuff out. But it was really great seeing all these PlayStation references since PlayStation is such a big thing to me. Tom, um, thank you for playing. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> okay, let's beat all this up. Come on, get rid of all these. Go, 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 go. Got it. I think we got all the coins from that. Fantastic. Now what? I guess that's it. And some extended credit, special thanks to uh, all these people. Pretty cool. Yeah, with all of this done, unless there's anything fancy at the end of the credits, which I don't think there will be, uh, we'll be good to just head on to see what other extra collectibles or things to find. Uh, you got this far here. We give you 10 cool points. Well, thank you. I guess we got some cool points for making it this far in the credits. I don't see anything else here though. So if the credits don't have anything extra, we'll just move back to the main game. Oh, one more thing. What's up? I guess we'll have to go and see. Hi, Astrobot it's waving at us. It's so adorable. What could it be? Not quite sure. Let's pull this thing. Got it. Oh, hey, a new artifact, <laughs> the PlayStation headphones. Pulse 3D wireless headset. Mixing sound as 3D as they look. Very cool, I've never tried these before, but they seem pretty neat. You can zoom in on them. All right, closing in with that. So I guess another artifact for us. That is, a, I think, like a peripheral that was introduced with the PS5. So I guess we're just getting some extra artifacts here to finish things off. That's fun. 
What about this one then? This is gonna be, ooh, new artifact. Yeah, I guess we're getting new PS5 peripherals. This is the HD camera. Camera looks like a clamor. I, I don't get it. Oh, I guess because it looks like a clam. Yeah, with the clam sort of shell design there. This is another, you know, PS5 peripheral. This is just like a camera. I don't really know what it does, what games use it really, but it's there. <laughs> then we can bounce up here. I wonder if we'll see the PS5 DualShock. I guess we'll see. Let's pull this one. And this artifact, yeah, here it is. The PlayStation 5 controller, DualSense wireless controller. It's in your hands now, or hoofs. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're, we're holding this right now. Very, very cool. So, happy to see this one. Very cool controller. I do like it quite a lot. I feel like it got a lot of criticism when it first like, launched, but I think it's a pretty solid controller. And then right up this way, I guess we have our last little bit here. It should be the PS5 itself, right? Let's find out. There we go. So now we have properly unlocked every PlayStation artifact. Play has no limits. Here's the PS5. The PlayStation 5, number five is alive. So cool. And of course, other iterations have dropped since then. The PS5 Slim is now a new version of the console that has come out since this is released. So maybe there'll be an update that features that kind of stuff one day, who knows? But for right now, we're just zooming off with that. And we're back here to the PlayStation Labo room. Now fully completed. Whoa. Cool. Congratulations, you collected all five key PlayStation artifacts, but your search doesn't end here. Can you track down every artifact? I think I did, did I not? I guess we'll see. What is that about? So we're back here in the PlayStation Labo room where I did want to take a better look at everything. Oh. Yeah, there's even more artifacts. Huh, okay. We'll take a look at this room. Very well populated with lots of stuff, but yeah, it seems like we're not quite done. So what's the deal with the rest of the set? I'm very curious to find out. I figure we'll do an in-depth exploration of everything we can find in here once we actually... Hi there, Spyro! I've been looking for this little guy. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to do an in-depth exploration of this room once we have everything in here, because if not, then I'm gonna wanna go over it again. So what is this gonna teleport us to? Maybe a place to get even more artifacts. Secret Labo. Whoa. What is this then? This is where we can find a bunch of stuff, I would hope. What is going on in here? Got a bunch of bots doing some computer work all around us. What is this gonna lead to? Uh, An extra portal, I guess. What is going on? Mission room, whoa. Okay, so we can do missions in here? Gotcha. So here's the mission room, and if we go inside, proceed to the PlayStation Store to join Astro on his next mission. Okay, is this just gonna lead to the new Astro Baki? Maybe this is a newer update, I'm not quite sure. So yeah, this is just advertising the new Astrobot stuff. So maybe if I were to pre-order the game, there would be some kind of like DLC here, and it's like a countdown. So if you guys wanna see me do the Astrobot challenges, feel free to let me know, but that can't be it, right? There's gotta be a way to spend these coins to get some extra stuff. I feel like that's what we're sort of missing right now. So we'll take a little bit of a look around this room, just in case it's in here, because I do see this uh, pocket station. Hi, how are you? Just chilling out, whoa, whoa, hey, what did we just do? Um, I guess this is where we can see everything, like a, a closer look at everything. But as you can see, that means that we're still missing things. I'm really confused by that. But yeah, I guess it's just what you do is you just let us see them all again, which is really cool. But before we get into that, where in the world do I spend these coins? <laughs> That's my big question for right now. Oh, maybe it has to do with this over here. What's with this big vault? I'll press the button and, whoa! Here we go, it's like an arcade machine or a gotcha pawn. Okay, I pull the lever, we spend some coins, and I get a puzzle piece. Gotcha, beginner. Trophy earned. I understand now. So for 100 coins, we can sort of pull the lever and get something. Right now it's mostly puzzle pieces, but this time I get the uh, loading screen. All right, uh, the PlayStation 2 one. Is this technically a artifact, I'd have to imagine? 
Something like that. Let's pull again. We get a golden one. Whoa, new artifact. Now this is a PS4 Pro and an artifact. PlayStation 4 Pro, how pro can you go? Very cool. All right, well, of course the PS4 Pro, a little bit higher, like computing power with that. Let's pull the lever again. We get a can. What's gonna be inside the can then? Uh, nothing. It was just a can. <laughs> All right, break this one open. We get the Sony Interactive Entertainment sign with another sign sort of behind it. I don't know what's with that, but uh, that's interesting. So the SIE, I think it used to be Sony Computer Interactive Entertainment. So maybe that's what it's covering up. Neat. Or maybe it was the other way around. It was first SIE, but then it changed to SCIE. We got another puzzle piece in this one. Can't wait to finish all those off. Hopefully we have enough coins to get everything. Because here's another puzzle piece. And this has, aw, we got one of the bots with the dinosaur. Cute. I like it. Okay, go ahead and open up another. We got, whoa, hey, working on a sack boy, huh? That's cool. Glad to see some more Sackboy references. We get the puzzle piece here. Another puzzle piece, stacking those up. Yeah, we have plenty of coins to spend here, so I think we're okay. Another puzzle piece. The golden one's gotta be an artifact. It is, whoa. Wait, what is this? The PSP camera, I forgot about this. Portable cameras, they'll never catch on. So of course, before cell phones all had portable cameras, you had the PlayStation Portable here with its own camera peripheral. I've never actually had this thing before. It has 1.3 megapixels, wow. Pretty cool. I like this a lot. Seems like a fun one. Let's go ahead and close that up. Pull the lever again, and get another puzzle piece. Get another can. So it's just like a picture of Astro enjoying some kind of banana, grapefruit flavored drink. Guess we're not thirsty. Got another artifact, what is it this time? It is a PlayStation 4 Slim, right? PlayStation 4 lost some weight, but none of the magic. It's interesting how it specifies the PS4 Pro, but not the PS4 Slim. It did that with the PlayStation 2 as well. It never actually pointed out the fact that it was the Slim console. I mean, this is definitely the slimmer version of PS4. All right, let's go ahead and pull another one. Just another puzzle piece. Got this one here. Keep it going. We got so much more to get. All right. What is this one gonna be? Whoa, hey! So we got a bunch of the bots playing PS2. It looks like they're just on the, the main menu of the PS2. There's the eco version of, or the bot version of eco. Cool. PS2, still one of my favorite consoles ever. It's always fun to see that. Over here, whoa, we got the PlayStation 4 as well. And it's, it looks like they're in the act of dropping it. All right. Got another puzzle piece. Almost about halfway through our coins here. Whoa, for the players. So this one is, I guess, just the bots holding the different kinds of PlayStation trophies, which hopefully we'll be able to get the platinum trophy for this game. Ooh, artifact time. What do we get? Oh, I was talking about this before. This is the PlayStation 2 network adapter. The secret to successful networking. So nowadays we're sort of spoiled by consoles immediately just being able to hook up online. The PlayStation 2 didn't have that ability out of the box, but with this, you were able to actually connect via ethernet to the internet. So basically it wasn't like a Wi-Fi thing. You'd have to plug this into your router, uh, but you, then you could play games online. And there were quite a few games that supported it. Specifically, I remember like the Ratchet and Clank games had some online multiplayer and stuff. Such a novel thing at the time, but now it's just, you know, the mainstay for consoles. All right. What do we got here? A PlayStation 3 Slim. Oh, or at least one model of it. There's actually an additional model of it, but PlayStation 3, surely it can't get any smaller than this. There was like the fatter version of the PS3. This is the PS3 Slim. And then there was like the revision version of the Slim. This is probably the one I put the most time into is this one. But I did have the, the larger version too. Okay. Next up, what do we got inside of here? New artifact, the other PS3 Slim. So what they did is they made it so instead of like feeding the disc from the front, um, as you interact with it here, you can see it just slides open. It just has this like sliding feature, which I think made it just so that there was a less of a chance of it breaking in any sort of way. But of course it was probably cheaper to produce because I think it was probably the least expensive version of PS3. PlayStation 3, okay, maybe it can. It can get smaller and here it is. With that being said, one of the core differences between the original PS3 and these other two slimmer re revisions was the, the original model PS3 had PlayStation 2 backwards compatibility. Apparently that made the PS3 very expensive 
to make and a big reason why it was such an expensive console. So when they did these revisions, they didn't bring that back. PS3 of all forms, I believe, can still play PS1 games, but not all of them can play PS2 games. Only the original can do that. Okay, let's pull the lever again, squeeze this can, and whoa, they're all playing in the pool, got a little pool party. All right, max up. Gotcha, man Maniac. Now we have the PlayStation 3 with that original version, and I think you yeah, have the Uncharted, the bot charted game. Cute. Let's pull another, just another can, and another puzzle piece. Ooh, artifact time. We get, whoa, wait, what is this? Oh, it's the GPS, oh my gosh. The PSP GPS receiver helps you find your way around any dark dungeon. So I'm pretty sure this is something that only released in Japan. Basically, it is a GPS receiver for the PlayStation Portable. You could actually use it as a GPS, which once again, something all of our phones have nowadays is the ability to track your location and navigate things. Not really the case back in the day. You had to buy specifically a GPS. So to be able to turn your PSP into a GPS was a pretty crazy concept. All right, next up, just another can. And then we got a puzzle piece. I can't wait to see the completed wall. I hope we have enough coins for everything. We're sort of running a bit low, but we have another artifact. This time, whoa, it's another PSP thing. This is the PSP microphone. Talk, man. And this one, obviously, not really too much to say about it. Just like the camera and the GPS, it just plugs into the top and you can use it as a microphone. I guess maybe for some of the multiplayer games, if you wanted to use voice communication. I don't think you could use this and the camera at the same time, so I don't think you could use it to like, really have like a voice video call with someone or something like that, but still pretty cool. I think later versions of the PSP also had Skype, if I'm not mistaken, which is like a, you know, communications application. Uh, whoa, we got all the astronauts hula hooping. Only one of those really works for that, the circle. <laughs> Cute. All right, we're running low on coins here, but I'll definitely have to go get more. This one, oh my gosh, some kind of chemistry disaster about to happen with these astrobots. Next up, squishing that can, pulling another, another puzzle piece. I got five more left I can get here. There's still so much more to get though, wow, okay. Whoa, we got all the bots playing PlayStation 1, as you can see here. All right. And then pulling it again. What do we got this time? Whoa. All these different like PS3 home screen symbols like in these vats, interesting. Okay. What do we got this time? Aw, little Astrobot in front of a mini aquarium. Okay, we have enough for one more. Let's hope it's a good one, then I'll have to earn up some more coins. Whoa, it's gonna be another puzzle piece. Okay, let's close this for now. And I guess it'll show all those new artifacts being sprinkled in. All right, now it feels a lot more populated. And the wall really got filled up a bit more. We still have a bit more to go, so I gotta keep working on it. But I guess for now, all I can really do is just try to get some more coins. I don't know the best way to do that for now, but I can, whoa, get a bunch more coins from you guys. What does that give me? Uh, 200, 300, still going. Okay, let me press this button. Maybe I can open up a couple more then. Oh, 479. Okay, still not enough to uh, go what we need here, but we got this little bot playing with the PlayStation Move. Uh, got another puzzle piece. Okay, open up two more then. Right here, another artifact. This one is the PSP Go. Whoa, a later model of the PSP had this like sliding functionality. If you interact with it, it can just like slide. Sort of like cell phone inspired at the time. PSP Go, no UMD, OMG. So yeah, it has an interesting form factor, but it was a fully digital console in the way that you can't put discs in it. It's only downloads. But because of that, it has the super lightweight form. Never owned one, but I would have loved to because this seems like a really cool concept. All right, let's close that one out. And I think we have enough for one more. So let's pull that lever and get a bunch of Astrobots, or I guess the spots, playing with some cards. I'm not entirely sure the reference with this one, what these cards are from, but they all have like different, oh, I think these are all like different iterations of the PlayStation logo. No way, I've never seen these before. That's really neat. And of course the bot is holding the one that they ended up going with. So cool. So I guess I gotta find a place to earn up some coins because I don't have enough for the rest of this. <laughs> but a little bit more of the wall cleared up. Okay, 
Let me go find some more coins. I might have to like replay a level a few times or something. Well, while we're looking for more coins to earn up, I wanted to take a quick look at Network Speedrun. It looks like this is gonna be a bunch of levels that we can replay to earn up, I guess, our best times. We might as well do this now then, since we have the extra time. And maybe this will get me some extra coins along the way. I sure hope so. Uh, we do have like a mystery thing here, but for right now we can try Mountain Run. Sure, let's give it a go. All right. And here we are already. Load so quick, three, two, one, go! This seems like it's its own stage. With that being said, there's no coins on the stage at all. So I guess it's not about finding any collectibles or really searching for that kind of thing. It's just about jumping through as fast as we can with our platforming abilities. Whoa, so far so good. I don't know if they're supposed to be like reformatted levels that we've sort of seen before, but I'm zooming through pretty well so far. We can bounce up here, avoid these enemies, got it. All right, and hopefully this gives us like some kind of coin reward. That would be nice. Okay, whoa. I'm getting across here, just like that. Gonna land on this spot. We're moving through pretty quick though. Got it, oh no, okay, that was weird. Okay, Astro, I need you to land on the platform. What was that? There we go. I was doing really well up until the end, but that was still a decent time. 54.58 seconds is a new record, and you set a personal best in Mountain Run. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Well, I just need to do it once, and then I'm pretty happy, but it doesn't seem like it gets me anything as a reward for doing it, so I will still have to grind up coins at some point, but since we're enjoying this, that was Mountain Run. Let's try Space Run. Sure. Let's try for under a minute again. All right, three, two, one, go. We're rushing through one more time. Come on. Whoa, so these platforms sort of flip around. Okay, got it. Not bad. Gotta be careful of all the moving platforms. Gotta move in this direction. Everything is falling down as we step on it. But we're doing pretty good with controlling Astro here. Very focused in on just making sure that I land each and every jump this time. Oh, I need to yet yeah, zip through that stuff to have it explode. Oh, I see. Okay. Cut as many corners as possible as I think we're coming up on the end here. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, there it is. That was super quick. 47.94 seconds. You set a personal best in space run. Excellent. We can take a look at the leaderboards here too. Um, my personal best, of course, but I guess we can like compare it to the world and friends and stuff. I don't need to worry about that too much right now. We got plenty more of the game to play. So I'm heading right back in there because I want to do more of this. It's very addicting. The Frozen Run is up next. Okay, here we go. This controller is so noisy, by the way. I know it's been making noise this whole series, but still pretty crazy that it does that. Okay. Uh, let's keep it moving. Got it. Oh no, oh, not good. I fell. Let's restart again. Three, two, one, and go. All right. Going around here. Get some punch through this. It's reminding me of like a Crash 2 stage. Oh no, come on. Darn. Gotta really look ahead. That's sort of the problem, is that the, the way we're moving, it sort of gets obscured by what's ahead of us, like exactly where I land. So if I could like move the camera to the side, like this, that might help a little bit. Got it, ooh. There we go, making it farther than we did last time. That is for sure. Now this is where stuff gets tricky for sure. Ah, oh, If I fall like that, it's just worth it to retry, I think. Okay, come on, we're going again. One more time. This is definitely the toughest one so far. Sliding down, punching through. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I'm back to making these jumps. It can be really hard to tell exactly where Astro is standing, so gotta do it again. He doesn't really have much of a shadow in that spot, so it's just really hard to tell if we're actually over the platform. So I just have to be really careful, but I feel like this is gonna be it. This is gonna be the one consistent run Crazy that we did the first two levels so well, and this one is such a struggle. Got it? Okay. 
jumping over here. I'm gonna jump, glide, jump, jump. Oh. Okay, jump, jump, got it. I'm out of there. I don't know what's next, but I'm ready for it, I hope. Okay, bouncing up here, same deal. Gotta be very careful. Oh man. But we're doing very nicely. I slide down this way, bounce off the trampoline, and then boom, we made it! Okay, 41.66 is definitely not bad. We got a new personal best in Frozen Run. Let's go down to this one, and we will see the next stage. All right, I'm back in there, Astro, because right over here we have Stormy Run. Whoa. Hopefully this one turns out well. After this, it looks like we had some of the like vehicle missions as speedruns. And we're off. This one might be the toughest one yet because we need the timer jumps with all these electrically charged platforms. All right, I should just be able to jump my way through like that. A lot of these situations, you don't even really need to actually land on these platforms. There's like convenient spots where you can just jump around, except for there. I mean, luckily when we get knocked out, it does restart the timer for us. So that's at least good. I don't have to worry about it too much time. I will jump, jump, get over this spot. You're really utilizing the double jump is super important. Because we can just skip out on a lot of stuff. Okay. I got around it this time. Now this jump, a little bit scary. I had to go over and under. Oh man. So we're back to it being a little bit of a mystery about where I'm headed. I don't know what's going on next. Bouncing off, oh no, I don't bounce off these clouds. Oh no, I thought I was landing there and I didn't. I just jumped right off the side. Darn, that was pretty far though. We tried that again now and we should be good. Ready. Luckily, you know, the platforms sort of move and spin at the same time each time we run through. So that's good. Once we get the timing down once, it's always gonna be that way. Jump, glide, I made it over. One simple jump there. Got it? Okay. Not bad. Jump over that one. Okay, so hopefully learn my lesson from the last time. I definitely did. And then we bounce. I think there's one last run here. It sure seems like it. Ugh. Come on, we gotta be close, we gotta be close. It wasn't perfect with that last little jump, but definitely not bad. That was 48.73, a new personal best in Stormy Run. Exactly what we wanna see. So that's all the main Astrobot uh, speed runs there, but we still have these. So let's try these out. We have a climbing run now with the monkey. I don't know how well I'm gonna do with this one, but since we don't have to worry about collectibles, that does make it a lot easier. Okay, so. Um, oh, I just gotta jump and then, oh, this is so complicated. Come on. Keep climbing, monkey buddy. And I gotta remember a light touch on these. Go, 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 go. And you gotta spin and get back to climbing. Got it, oh. That was pretty simple. Watch out for the moving platform. Got it, oh man. Come on. Lots of fruit over here. Got it, whoa! Come on! Oh man, that was close. I don't know if I'll ever fully get used to this, but I'm certainly trying. Okay, gotta grab onto the little zipper. And we're getting brought all the way up to the end. Come on, boom, we made it. Luckily it wasn't too far to get through. 53.54 for a new personal best in climbing run. Three more to go. And that might end up being the easiest one out of the four. Jetpack run is definitely not gonna be easy. But I guess we'll see how it goes. Three, two, one, go. We're boosting. Okay, so I gotta tilt the controller to steer. This one will at least be a lot of fun. I mean, what's tough about this is that you can't just zoom through, of course. This will probably end up getting knocked out on something. And it only takes one knockout here to reset us. If we die in any way, it just sets us back to the beginning. There's no checkpoints or anything. So we really gotta move. Oh, I guess those fans work as speed boosts. Uh, watch it, please. Out of my way. Come on, keep it going. 
Luckily, there's not been too many obstacles that actually knock us out here. Stuff that like pushes us around, but doesn't send us back home, you know? Okay, okay, excuse me. Get through the door, and then get boosted up here. Make the most out of that, just like that. Come on in, there we go, that was super quick. I thought that'd be way more difficult. We find a way through in 49.51 for our personal best jetpack jet run. Two more to go. No wasted time here. We got the hopping run now. This one might be a little tricky as well. But I guess we'll see. Where are we headed? I like how we can sort of pre-charge or jump there. I gotta press this and then back over here. Seems like a pretty similar setup to the original level that we had with the frog. Okay. There we go. We can turn around a lot in midair, so we just gotta be pretty clear with how we wanna do it. Don't wanna get frozen here. And then up this way, press the button, but I don't even need to land on it. There we go. Okay, way up here then. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, come on. Gotta charge up, and then super jump over. Got it. And I'm just gonna be patient here, because if not, I'm definitely gonna fall to my doom. Ah! Okay, we made it. We get boosted up from the lily pad, and that's gonna be it. Super quick again. 50.89 seconds for our best run and hopping run. All right. So, that means we have one more of these stages to go before hopefully we unlock this mystery. I guess that's our total time, huh? Okay, rolling run. Let's give it a go. This might not be easy. Hi. This was definitely the toughest robot out of the four. I'm just gonna zoom through as fast as we can with it. Oh, the sand, really slowing us down. So we gotta be very careful for these spots. Because if we get caught in the sand too much, it's just gonna be a huge slowdown for us. The same thing with like the mud over here. Watch out for the bowling pin, boom, gotcha. Okay, no, oh, come on. And that's gonna make us reset, isn't it? Yeah, darn, not easy. Definitely not easy. I'm gonna roll through. This time I'm not hitting the sand though, so it's technically already faster until I accidentally press down on the D-pad by swiping. Okay. Making some decent time, I think. I mean, I'm not looking for any world records, as long as we can just, just get through it. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, oh, I fall off one way the one time and the other way the other time. Okay, this time I make it and we're up on the ice already, oh no. Not sure how to feel about this one because that's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> Yikes. This one I feel like is definitely gonna be the biggest struggle out of all of them. Okay, I'm taking it nice and slow this time. I really don't even care if we have a bad time at this rate because I just, I've died so many times. If I could just slow it down right there, go into this direction. Got it, got it, got it, okay. And this is really scary, but I think we can get through without getting pushed around by these things. Sometimes it just like doesn't really read my swipes very well. But we're coming up on the end. I see it in the distance. Luckily it wasn't too long of a trip. Whew. Run, Astro, run, trophy earned. So our rolling run was the only one that's over a minute but I'm happy that we got it done. Phew. So, there is that completed, and does that mean, yeah, we have a new total record for everything combined. That's pretty cool. So we get to see that right there. You're used to a new personal time for total run. Um, and challenges, we love your feedback, maybe some other time. I'm glad we could get that done. That was actually really fun, but didn't give me like any new coins. So unless there's like more waiting for me back over here, uh, I guess that means I probably just have to replay some levels and grind out the coins over and over, which isn't the most riveting thing. So let me make sure that there's, if those little bots over there, are they holding any more coins for me? Because that would be cool if they are, but it doesn't look like they are. Okay, so I guess for now then, I will just replay some levels over and over again until we have enough coins for everything. With that being said, I don't know how many mo more coins we need. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So if we get like a good 1,200 coins, that should hopefully give us everything we need. So I'll be right back. And also as I'm heading back in here, a special bot is hidden and trapped in Render Forest. Can you find it and solve the riddle to set it free? 
maybe? If that's supposed to be some kind of bonus content, I might save it for some other time. I'm just focused on the coins for now. Because it seems like we'll have to do the challenges at some point anyway. So, for right now, if I could just earn up some coins, I'll be pretty happy with that. <laughs> Okay, so after a bunch of running around some of the previous levels, I do believe I have earned up enough to get the rest of the rewards. So hopefully that's the case, because I'm a little tired of grinding the levels we've already played, but we'll find out in just a moment. I have almost 1,400 coins, so hopefully that is good enough to pull a lever, get another puzzle piece just like that, keep that going for a little bit, and see how it works out. Lots of puzzle pieces coming in. Got it, and then... What are we getting, the silver one? Little Astrobot with the PlayStation Home menu, or icon, <laughs> over here. Another puzzle piece. The golden one, the last artifact here, this is the PS1, the PS1 Mini. The Dude Raider is our trophy earned for this one. I love this console so much. I think it has such a cool look to it. And this is the one that you actually combine with the, the LCD screen. PS1, aw, cheapy console. All right, there we go. And, we got a few more pieces here that we can definitely afford. A puzzle piece, another puzzle piece, uh, our last puzzle piece, a grand tour, and then finally our last little Astrobot diorama here. I'm an Astrobot throwing the Boomerang PS3 controller. I mean, I guess it's not actually the controller, but a little history lesson on this one is that there was a prototype PS3 and it had a controller that was shaped like that. It looked awful. <laughs> but it was just like a really neat picture of like what they were experimenting with at the time. But there we go, we have fireworks for clearing out the gotcha machine. So cool. There's more? What is this stuff? Hold on. New artifact, there's more. I gotta go grind some more coins. Whoa, we get the PlayStation VR 2 Sense Controller L. Absolutely gripping. This must be like a new update thing now with the new game coming out because this is VR 2 stuff, which definitely came out after this game. Okay, good to know. What do we got here? Not much. Okay, so for the rest of that stuff, I, that is like post this original game's content update. So I think with that being said, yes, this Congratulations Seeker, you found every artifact, but there is more. So Congratulations Seeker, you found every artifact. And we completed this giant wall of art. All right. Splendid, the wall puzzle is complete. Take a break and enjoy the fun and colorful history of PlayStation. All right, bye. So yeah, there is some brand new updates to the game that I guess came with the Astrobot announcement that add the challenges as well as more of the uh, Gachapon stuff. So I think we'll do those at some point or another um, as its own video. But for right now, as you can see, where should we start? We should probably start with the original PlayStation here in the PlayStation Labo room, right over here. So we got all of these artifacts along the way and you can see them here. Oh, you can also see the, the VMU here, the uh, pocket station where we do have everything on this screen. We've already taken a closer look at it, but this is where we can find the update artifacts. So I'll take a look at those in a future video. But for right now, as you can see here, PlayStation 1, lots of cool stuff. Got these guys, what are they doing? Oh, oh they're all like PS1 CD jewel cases. Nice, very cool. So they're just digging through looking for the right game, or they're looking to see where they left the disc because they're all empty, classic. They got all these controllers, all the Astrobots having fun on it. Oh, and that's what we, we sort of filled up this room with those little dioramas as well. So you're, is that like Ridge Racer? I'm not quite sure, but you're racing around in the car. Pretty cool. There's Spyro, so cute. Glad to see Spyro made his way into this game too. Hopefully we get a new Spyro game soon. Whoa. Okay, so what's the deal with this one then? Oh my goodness, we got that T-Rex we fought. All sorts of stuff. Astrobot running through the 32-bit, and the 1994 December 3rd, I think, is the original launch of PlayStation. Um, and then you can see here the Pocket Station, um, some of the Astrobots dressed up as like uh, Ape Escape, the PS1 Mini, and then of course, PlayStation 2 launches in 2000, and it has the ability to play DVDs, and Shadow of the Colossus, and uh, plenty of other games here too. You got the PlayStation I, 128-bit. Cool, we got the uh, SingStar microphone, and of course the PS2 Slim, and all the different color variations of the Slim. Um, over this way we have the PSP, my all-time favorite portable console, and with it we have uh, some UMDs, they're playing games Loco Roco and Patapon were the big ones. 
Now on this side, the mural continues. I want to take a look at the mural and then we'll run through all the smaller details. Uh, over here, the PS3 launches the first HD console console for PlayStation in 2006. And you can see with this one, um, it is with the big HDMI cable. There is PlayStation Online, the first fully online console without having to buy an adapter. Sort of hard to see from this angle, but you can see lots of stuff was going on with this console. You can just go online and buy stuff. I see the cake there, which I think is a refer reference to Fat Princess. Vita equals life because of the PlayStation Vita launching in 2011. You could play it anywhere. And then of course the PlayStation 4 comes out where you get all sorts of different peripherals, a lot of cool games released at this time. But then finally, you have over here the PSVR, which released in 2016. So cool. And that's sort of all the iterations of PlayStation here. So now we'll run through the actual room. We looked at this PS1 section and the dinosaur over here. We're running down this way. We got PlayStation 2 with the Eco Disc. We have, oh, you guys playing DDR. That's so cool. Um, you guys are dancing. This is like the little memory management screen kind of thing. You guys are hula hooping. What else do we got? What are you guys playing? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, down this way is where we enter, of course, the PS3 area, but is there anything more here? What are you doing to the PS2? I don't know. Uh, the PS3 area, you guys are just hanging out near it, all dancing on top of the slim playing some PlayStation Move. Can I climb on top of this? What is going on up top? Whoa, not much. I can get a better look at some of the other stuff. But back down here, you got all the home menu icons and stuff like that. And whoa, yeah, this was, oh, I forget what this game is called, but this was another one of those games, another PlayStation exclusive game. Uh, we got, of course, Sackboy over here. PS3 menu, so cool. And then we got some PSP to stuff here as well. Uh, PSP, PSP Go, and the PS4 section where we have you working all of, oh, it's Knack! Yeah, that's definitely all of Knack's pieces. I was wondering if there was gonna be a Knack reference, and now we know. Cool. And oh, we got the PlayStation Plus icon and the PS4 over there. And of course, all the PS4 trophies that you can unlock. We got the PlayStation Move and the PSVR. And then we've made it full circle. What a fantastic look through PlayStation's history this has all been. I had a great time with that, for sure. But that is technically everything done in the main game. We got all the levels completed, found all of the artifacts and puzzle pieces, as well as, of course, did all the network speedrun levels. And like I said before, there's technically more because they updated the game with the announcement of the brand new PS5 Astrobot game. I can probably check this out, but it'll be in a, in a different episode, so let me know if you'd like to see that. But for right now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Astro's Playroom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.